Previously on TV Sims. If you feel like you gotta make like a Western omelet or something. Cool. This coffee smells like. Look, it's a hard and fast rule, TV. If you can't get your opening credits out of the way in 60 seconds, you will get sent. We send that incredible Game of Thrones opening for going too long. You really think American Gods is getting away with over 100 seconds of this shit? Also, Astronaut Jesus. They were hungry, of course. The very first word of this show is both narration and pronoun gaming. And American Gods is letting us know right off the bat it doesn't give a Ganesha's rat's ass about maintaining any kind of coherence. Even a salad. Would do. I'm not sure exactly what year this part is set in, but going to go with the year of no one knew what the f a salad was. <laughs> That's awesome. Complete and utter nonsense worth a sin, of course, but still awesome. Did they really need to set up this elaborate sand contraption to see if the wind was blowing? Not that any of this actually matters, because we are still firmly in the abstract story that has nothing to do with our main characters portion of the episode, which I'm now thinking might be a majority of this God's Forsaken show. There are so many competitions where shirts and skins makes complete sense. Basketball, backyard football, wet t-shirt contests, but murder tournament is not one of them. This war footage is so over the top gory that I've blurred the entire screen, but just know that this battle indicates that all humans are hemoglobin water balloons just waiting to be popped, and I do not believe that is accurate. And of course, it's intentional, and yes, it's a stylized choice, but maybe I'm just sinning it because it's gross. I'm not even sure I want to reckon with my own mortality today. Benching without an appropriately attentive spotter. I don't believe in anything I can't see. Like the point of this show, for instance. I can see it fine. Prison has a way of trying to keep you in prison. It's very apparent that Justin Tucker went to the Brad Pitt School of 12 monkeying things for this performance. I smell snow. In case you're wondering what kind of show American Gods is, it's exactly the kind of show that goes directly from a makeshift noose metaphor to the phrase, I smell snow, and then flips you the bird if you ask it for any kind of explanation. Game of bones. <laughs> bird slap. I'm saying do not piss off those bitches in airports. Sure, it's convenient that he remembered this random conversation with Loki, but it's even stranger that they had a conversation about airport etiquette in the first place. I offer you the worm from my beak and you look at me like I f***ed your mom? Is this a bad thing? My dad did the same thing all the time. Not the offering worms part, more the f***ing my mom part. What's today? Wednesday. Hmm. Today's my day. This conversation has been going on for over two minutes and will continue for over three more. So, if long, drawn-out, abstract word salad is your thing, welcome to your new favorite show. If not, welcome to Team this. I'll give you five guesses which team I'm on. Mr. Wednesday asked the flight attendant to get Shadow a Jack and Coke. That is either straight up Jack or straight up Coke, but there is no way both ingredients made it into the tumbler. Sometimes I feel like premium cable is the place where creators go when they are tired of anyone telling them their pretentious slow motion buffalo with fire shooting eye scene might need to be cut in the interest of time and context. And what the hell, show? Torture. Show reluctantly admits what it's doing to the audience with a constant cacophony of conceptual codswallop. I've only been on three other dates from the computer. I don't think I have the talent for it. Well, considering not Bill Murray calls it the computer, I tend to agree. You're the sexiest goddamn thing I've ever gotten in touch for free. Pillow talk. I don't know what I'm doing. What man does. Xenia on the bottom would be great at TV sins. Pray to me like I'm your god. Your goddess. And he does, and then she swallows him with her vagina for the next three minutes. Are you not entertained? Also, I think I finally understand what the vagina monologues are about. Despite the show giving its best shot at obscuring any kind of cohesive storyline, I'm picking up that certain characters are gods or something, but serious face Mick Grumperson here doesn't know this, and that coin just disappeared into thin air. Why is he not freaking out right now? I told you I'm a leprechaun. We don't come from Moscow, Russia. In case you confused it with, or Moscow, Idaho, for that matter. He beat me to it. Do you know who he is? Who he really is. I'm not even sure I know who I am anymore. Southern Comfort and Coke for you? There's an odd reliance on various bourbons and Cokes in this show. I'm not sure there's deeper meaning in that, or God's just having super boring tastes in beverages. Hey, everybody! There's gonna be a lesson learned! Is it not to adapt abstract sci-fi religious novels into long-form TV shows? Because I think it should be that. Can you feel the joy rising in your veins like the sap in the springtime? I was gonna say this show is weird, but weird was like, leave me out of this, man. I don't even get this sh Seriously, American Gods makes the show Legion look like a Time Life docuseries. <laughs> American Gods, Rocky Three. She died with my husband's in her mouth. That is a literal case of bearing the lead. Also, I know the congregation is singing and all, but I'm pretty sure most everyone can hear them having this conversation at full volume. Geez, Audrey, didn't anyone tell you to use your indoor voice when discussing a friend's wife's fatal automobile fellatio affair with your husband? Dead wins, 10 out of 10. 
So I pissed on him. This may say more about me than the show, but Andre is easily my favorite character so far. An eye for an eye, blowjob for a blowjob right here where they can see us. This is the part of the Bible that Jules conveniently leaves out when he's quoting Ezekiel 25, 17. This show is 37% gold coin. They are consigned to the dumpster. Now we have reprogrammed reality. This scene is like the perfect mix of The Matrix and The Wiz, and I honestly have zero clue if that's a good or bad thing. Look, I know everything in this show is very conceptual and strange and confusing right now. Thankfully, it has a full season to bring things together so that it makes some sense and means something important. Glad that's sure to happen. Damn you! Damn you all to hell! The worst thing about prison was the, was the Dementors. There must be a con like me in every prison in America. I'm the guy who can get it for you. Cigarettes, a bag of reefer, if that's your thing. <laughs> How would you like to have someone come along and pick something off of you? I'll tell you something right now. I know air, and that was an air. It's like something that's wearing air. Freedom! Do you have time to improve your life? Do you have precisely 30 seconds for a word from Accutron watches? Bring her out the rosy, a pocket full of posies. I mean, that is how this business works. Ruth, men try sh you have to like, hell yeah, pretend to like it until you don't have to anymore. 